Joanna Simpson here at Quant Minds International in Barcelona. Joining me now is Sylvain Forte, CEO of CESAM. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. And just tell me, how does it feel to be here at Quant Minds International? It feels very good, actually. We've been at the conference a couple of times already, so it's not our first year. And this time we brought several people from our team. So we're all here together presenting our technology, um, discussing some of the novelties in the space. So very exciting and personal is, of course, a great place to be to have that type of conference. So very excited. Great. And what role does artificial intelligence have to play in the future of ESG and ESG investing in particular? Yeah, ESG, of course, is a massive trend in the industry right now, N not just in asset management, actually, and in the quant space, but also in private equity, in the corporate space, like tracking suppliers, clients, etc. And one of the key problematic themes that we see is uh, data gaps. So there's a lack of data in terms of coverage. So like small caps, mid caps, or even private firms are not well covered. There's problems with regards to frequency of information, it tends to be lagging, very low frequency, like quarterly updates or so, lack of transparency and the like. And so I, I do believe that AI is primarily a tool that can help fill that information gap. And for example, uh, uh, cover millions of companies instead of covering a few tens of thousands of, cover, uh, of companies manually with, with analysts. And so what, what we do at Cezanne is actually we leverage uh, a technology called natural language processing, where we screen text automatically so as to understand potential ESG controversies uh, or positive impact uh, uh, events. And so this leads us to have a coverage of around 5 million companies, meaning uh, every single public, public listed company out there, but also private firms that no one else would cover uh, otherwise. And so this enables a lot of use cases. There's uh, also frequency, uh, you can generate indicators every single day, more like a quantitative time series that people are used to. And this enables clients to get access to information even locally, like Raiffeisen, for example, one of our clients is tracking clients in Poland or in uh, Austria or Germany or Ukraine using natural language processing, which would not be possible with traditional ESG metrics. So I think that's the key topic about AI, is expanding the use, expanding the um, coverage in terms of ESG data, and making sure that that data is very systematic and, and follows a, a real good process and is transparent. And what examples are there of ESG investing being enhanced by AI? We, we see two primary use cases. So the first one is more quantitative. Uh, so uh, where people are looking to leverage ESG NLP data in their systematic trading process. So it's either for alpha generation. Uh, for example, we work with uh, LFIS, um, an asset manager in France that uh, created a fund based on ESG NLP data. And their primary goal is to enhance the strategy to generate outperformance, which is really a, a good use case in that space. Um, so this is really the quantitative use case where you can use higher frequency data, like daily data, in order to leverage ESG like kind of any other alternative data set and to derive superior returns. And then we have more discretionary use cases where we see large asset managers or private equity shops, etc., which are looking to perform risk management tests or help their team prioritize the scoring of assets. Say they have a team that does their own proprietary scoring, on assets with regards to ESG, but how do I prioritize? I have 3,000 assets to, to follow. I need some kind of alert on that whole universe to make sure that I focus on the assets that could be most controversial today. So that's one of the things that we provide, daily alerts using natural language processing, where we, people can say, okay, there is a massive shift right now. I'm gonna, as an ESG analyst, make a decision to look at this asset specifically to help cover it and update the score. And can AI help with greenwashing in ESG investing, and if so, how? Yeah, it's, it's one of the other kind of problems that you have in ESG, is the lack of transparency on the methodology creates some anomalies in some cases. And one of the big anomalies is that there's this averaging effect, where a firm that has both positive actions and negative topics is going to be, on average, neutral, which is, which is really problematic. We had a big uh, example like this in France recently with uh, Orpia, a listed company, nursing homes, exposed to massive scandal with regards to mistreating patients, so more like social washing than green washing. And the problem is their scores were pretty high because at the same time they had some positive uh, impact, they were implementing new diversity policies and the like, so it was averaging up. And so at Cezanne what we do is we leverage NLP in order to completely different, differentiate positive and negative topics. So if a firm is doing good stuff, that is aligned with SFDR and they have positive actions, et cetera, great. That's gonna be one score. 
but the, if at the same time they have very negative topics, there's a lot of risk, we're gonna still detect that. It's not gonna be averaged, it's gonna be very specifically focused on. Sylvain Forte, thank you for your time. Thank you very much.